Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's new video, we will be discussing about what are n-grams and how do n-grams power search engines in general and Elasticsearch in particular. So even before I tell you what n-grams actually are, let me show you a sample use case where n-grams can be used. Suppose I want to search for something in Google. I come to the search bar and start typing the characters. Suppose I want to search for the string laptop. So as soon as I type a few characters here, L A P, I can see that Google begins to show me certain suggestions. As you can see, all of these suggestions have something in common. Uh, and that is that they begin with the characters which I just entered in the search bar, which is, which are L A P. So what's going on here is this, that as soon as I type uh, a few characters in the Google search bar, Google tries to guess like what I might be searching for. Uh, in this case, uh, Google is asking me, hey, are you searching for the string laptop? Are you searching for laptop price uh, and so on? Are you searching for laparoscopy or for that matter, are you searching for lapis lazuli? Now, now what is the point of all of this discussion? The point of all of this discussion is that the same effect can be achieved by us in Elasticsearch by making use of what are known as n-grams. So let us now try to see what are n-grams. So an n-gram is basically a sequence of n continuous characters of a string. Let us try to have a look at an example. So if the string is HOPE, hope, we have a set of one grams which would be one continuous character from the string. Uh, and in this case, those will be H, O, P, and E. All of those are individual one grams. Uh, what about two grams? H, O, O, P, and P, E are two grams from the string hope. Similarly, we have three grams and a four gram. Now, what are H, N grams? H, N grams are N grams from the starting of the string. So from this list, if we pick the very first n grams, those would constitute the set of edge n grams for the string hope. Let us see the example. Again, we have the string hope. Uh, the only one, uh, one edge gram uh, for the string hope is edge. Uh, the two gram is h o. Similarly, we have the three gram hop and the four gram hope. So how do we actually go about using these n-grams in Elasticsearch? Uh, well, at the time of indexing our documents, what we could do is store the n-grams for all the relevant fields in the documents. That means all of the fields on which we want to perform a search, we could break them into their n-grams and store them in Elasticsearch at the time of indexing the documents. Example, the string software can be stored as S, S, O, S, O, F, soft, uh, and so on. You get the idea, right? At the time of retrieving the document, what do we do then? Well, the search query is matched against all n-grams. Suppose I put in the search string S, O, F, then definitely this S, O, F will be matched, and we can suggest the user that you might be looking for the term software. Um, Again, obviously based on a variety of other parameters and scoring as well. Uh, well, now someone might argue, why would we use n-grams when we could in fact do a prefix match? And well, there is nothing stopping us from doing a prefix matching in this case as well. Um, however, uh, we should know that prefix matching happens at read time and it can be costly as well as repetitive because we will have to do that for each individual search query. Whereas n-grams can be generated at right time and are a one-time operation, uh, unless of course the document is updated. Uh, in which case you have to generate the n-grams again. But still, um, if we have only one write for a document, then we, we just have to generate the n-grams the first time that the document is written and in the subsequent read queries we can match the query string with the generated n-grams all right so we'll head straight to the kibana console to see n-grams in action 
Uh, now, suppose I have uh, the set of eight documents indexed within my user index. Uh, and then suppose I search for the term wise within the job description field. If I go ahead and try to run this, I indeed see that I have two documents having the term wise. Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, now let's try to do a ngram search by removing the E from the wise. Uh, when I try to run this, I see that I do not have any hits. Uh, okay. What about VI? I run this. No hits. What about V? No hits at all. And why is that? Well, that is because as of now, when we are indexing this set of documents, there is no ngram analysis happening while indexing these documents. So let me quickly just get rid of this entire index. And what we'll do next is we'll build an ngram analyzer, which analyzes all of our documents while we are indexing those documents so that we can power our search using ngrams. I have before me the documentation for um, ngram tokenizer, uh, which shows us certain examples, how certain text can be tokenized into ngrams and uh, how to configure such a tokenizer for creating ngrams. Uh, but uh, in our case, we'd be more concerned with um, an ngram tokenizer, which can provide us with edge ngrams. Uh, because this makes uh, much more sense in our use case because it is more likely that a user's query would match an n-gram from the starting of a string rather than somewhere from the middle of it. So what all do we have here? We have uh, some example output of analyzing a string using uh, a edge n-gram tokenizer and you can see the kind of output they're getting and the ways in which we can configure edge n grams, uh, min grams, max grams, the minimum length of characters in the grams, uh, which this tokenizer on analyzer is supposed to produce, and the kind of characters that we want to consider um, while creating those n grams are supplied in token cards. And here they have shown us um, a rather big example of how to perform such n gram analysis. Uh, so let's try it out in Kibana console. In order to save ourselves some time, I have put some rest calls directly into the Kibana console. So uh, let's see what do we have going on here. Uh, firstly, we are trying to put a setting for the user index in which we specify how the analysis for the user index needs to take place. So we call our analyzer, the ngram analyzer. Uh, this is a name given by us. You could have called it anything. My analyzer, your analyzer, her analyzer, his analyzer. It could be anything. Uh, this is a custom analyzer. Um, uh, it uses the standard tokenizer uh, as well as it uses two filters, lowercase, which transforms all of the documents, all of the text within the document into lowercase as well as applies a ngram filter. This ngram filter is also defined by us uh, up here in the filters within the analysis. Uh, this ngram filter again is a name supplied by us. We could have called it anything like my ngram filter, your ngram filter, but we have to make sure we supply the same name uh, over here. So this ngram filter is a filter of type edge ngram, which means it creates edge ngrams. Um, and the n-gram length uh, ranges from 1 grams to up to 5 grams. So let me go ahead and see if I am able to run this. And uh, well, yes, uh, it says acknowledge true, which means that these settings are updated for the user index. Uh, next, I have a get call uh, into the user index where I am trying to analyze a certain text, in this case, software, uh, using the ngram analyzer that we have defined above. So when I send this REST request, 
I see that the n-grams that I was expecting have been generated for me. Uh, so the first one, you can see that's a S, then a SO, a SOF, soft and soft W. Uh, let's analyze uh, some more text. Uh, let's use the term wise in this case. And we again see that we have these four n-grams generated. Now, just notice in the previous case of software that since we have specified to generate n grams up to a maximum of 5 grams, we don't get any n grams ahead of soft w, otherwise, we would have. Uh, so, uh, these fields are customizable, you can have them according to your uh, requirements. Uh, uh, in case of this example, I have just set them arbitrarily uh, to 1 and 5. What we are doing next is also very interesting. We are specifying a mapping for the user index and we are telling Elasticsearch that the job description field in our documents would be analyzed in accordance to the n-gram analyzer that we have defined right here, which will be creating edge n-grams for us. Uh, so let's send this REST request or this REST call um, and we get an acknowledged true. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to index a set of documents. So here is my document set. I go ahead and index them and I see that my documents have been indexed. Next, let us send a search query to Elasticsearch. So what happens when I search for the term wise? Well, it was working previously. Now, uh, well, uh, again, I see the same two hits. Now, what happens when I search for the term VIC? Well, I again get the same result as I did for VICE, which means that our search is now being powered by n-grams because this string is, uh, you know, not directly found in our documents, but we still do get certain hits because of our n-gram analysis. Let us try a different search string this time. How about something like soft when I send this request? Yes, I get documents where we have the term software developer uh, matching for the query of soft. Uh, how about a soft W? And yes, uh, we see about the same number of hits. Uh, how about we just match SO? Uh, and yes, uh, it again returns us the same result. Well, I think so. That's pretty cool. Our search is now completely powered by n-grams. However, there is definitely one thing that you should make note of. Um, what happens when I give software as my search query? I see no results. And why is that? Because our n-grams have been created only up to uh, 5 grams. And software would be, uh, you know, in this case, uh, uh, 8 gram. So just remember that uh, we have to give a very reasonable length to our n-grams. If I change it uh, to something up to say 15, it would definitely start working. Uh, but I'm leaving it up to you uh, for checking it out and trying it out on your own. And that is all we had up for discussion on n-grams. Uh, I hope that we were able to build a good understanding of what our n-grams and the use of n-grams across search engines as well as in Elasticsearch. Uh, so that's going to be it for this time guys. If you found the video helpful, please do hit the like button. If you found the content of my channel helpful, please do hit subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you very soon in a brand new tutorial.